Hey everybody, it's uh, end of day 138. Um, it was a good day. Beautiful day out. I'm actually, of course you can see, hanging in my hammock in the Buffalo Wild Wings parking lot here in uh, Laurel, Mississippi. Uh, it's just right over there, you can see. See? That's where I'll be eating soon. But I just wanted to relax a little bit before I grabbed a bite. Um, did about 20 and a half miles, 20 mile, 20.5 miles ish. And uh, it was a good day. I mean, beautiful out. I'm just cranking through, getting, trying to get through this shin pain, which I don't know exactly how it uh, heals, but I'm doing whatever I can. I'm trying to take it easy and wrapping it and everything like that. So um, hoping that helps. <clears throat> But I really like to just uh, take these days where it's, you know, 75, 80 degrees and just relax as much as possible. This morning we had two interviews. Uh, Channel 7 from Hattiesburg came up and did a, a story. And then we had an, the local newspaper here uh, come do a, a story too. And Angela, who's the general manager of the Buffalo Wild Wings, was cool enough to come and open it uh, and let us come inside early. So we can, you know, do our interview and everything. Uh, and, you know, she's already taken care of one of our, our dinners. So it's just been a great place to come and be. And, uh, of course, I love the food. I'm sad because I usually eat meat, but I haven't been eating meat this whole run for the last six months. And and I love buffalo wild wings. Like, I love their wings. And <clears throat> I've been eating the black bean burger, which I love. I mean, it really is good. Uh, last night I had it with blue cheese and their Thai sauce, Thai curry sauce. That was amazing. Super amazing. So good. Um, but just been eating a lot, trying to keep my calorie intake uh, up and uh, replace the calories I'm burning. But uh, <clears throat> other than that, we're just cranking this out. I think I'm going to be in Alabama in the next two or three days. Um, maybe the end of Monday. We'll see exactly. But, uh, you know, I... I I have uh, till next Friday. Next Friday night, I fly out to Los Angeles. I have to go MC at the uh, the NASCAR race again. Which usually I, I'm not uh, like during the run. I'd much rather stay and run. But with the way my my shin is and my knees are, I think it'd be a nice little break. Uh, it's just three days. I'll be out and back, and then be cranking it out all the way. You know, when I get back from there, there's no breaks until um, the end of the run which is amazing to even think about that we're getting so close to. Um, I do want to give a big shout-out to my buddy Rob. <clears throat> Robert the Great Likens. If some of you guys have sent me stuff, you've sent it to his place this last time. Uh, he's one of my best friends and definitely one of my biggest heroes. And if you've been following the journey, you've heard this before, that he's one of my biggest heroes. But uh, he he's had um, some pain, you know, in his legs, and he's trying to train for this hundred miler with me at the end of the the run. And uh, he's been doing everything he can, and he's just such a wonderful person. And today he went to go do the death race, which is up in northern Georgia, and it's sixty sixty mile race, so sixty miles of running. <clears throat> through mountains, there's 30,000 feet of elevation change, up and down, up and down, 30,000 feet. That's Everest. So not only is he running 60 miles, but he's climbing Everest. So you can imagine uh, the day that he's having, and I think he'll be getting done here soon. Um, I know the last text I got from him, he is half halfway through, so 30 miles, and said his heart was full of happiness. So. Uh, Rob, I love you to death, and I look up to you nonstop. You're a true hero to me, and keep rocking that out, man. I can't wait to hear how it finished. <clears throat> Other than that, wow, what a what a you know beautiful day. Look, like look at that sky. It's just unreal. Now that's the light pole that I, I have my hammock tied to. The other side is tied to the van. This is how we live out here. You gotta enjoy it as much as you can, my friends. Um, what else? Uh, oh, make sure you guys are going. If you want to donate, uh, you can go to mtjm.org. It's our new, newly released website, and donate there. Also, we have our apparel there. 
and everything like that. I'm still working on the <clears throat> end of the run t-shirt, trying to see if I can make this happen. Still trying to see if I'm going to be doing something in Birmingham. So, uh, you know, time will tell with that stuff. No guarantees, but we're trying to do what we can. Um, the end of the run is looking more and more awesome. I'm really excited about it. We got the park donated, and we're starting to get some food donated, and we're going to have people there that want to cook their own little thing, and they can because their rooms have a little kitchenette in them. So really excited. Um, <clears throat> I want to thank, of course, all of you for being completely awesome and always supportive. And, uh, you know, you can subscribe to these awesome videos right here. I hope this is right, because I was doing it forever right here. I was like, it's right here, but it's right here. Um, <clears throat> because when, when the run's over, and a lot of you have asked me this, what am I going to do? Well, uh, more than just mountains campaign starts, where I'll be climbing the seven summits around the world, but also I'm going to be working on a documentary about cystic fibrosis, so... Uh, going to be doing a lot of filming, training, working, and uh, traveling and meeting you guys. I want to come and speak in your area. If you want me to come speak uh, in your area, please just email me, Tommy at mtjm.org. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what we can make happen. Uh, other than that, just keep following along. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.